And yet more added to the IR list because of Well, you, you know it's because of. So the Washington Post um, had this. Washington adds eight more players to the COVID-19 list, including backup Kyle Allen. The Washington football team's nightmare week continued Wednesday with the addition of eight players to the COVID-19 reserve list. Washington now has 18 players on the list, one of the highest totals in the NFL, amid a coronavirus outbreak that is sweeping through the NFL and other leagues. The eight additions were backup quarterback Kyle Allen, defensive tackle Matt Ioannidis, right tackle Cornelius Lucas, wide receiver Cam Sims, tight end Samus Reyes, linebacker uh, Milo Effler, cornerback Troy Apke, and safety Derek Forrest. Um... Center Keith Ismail did not practice because of an illness. Uh, it wasn't for coronavirus, but Ron Rivera is basically putting him in the same precautions as well. So Rivera goes on to say that he doesn't know how the outbreak really began. Just said it could be a number of things. Um, you know, noticed... Uh, some expressed cautious optimism that at least some of those players could return for Sunday's game at Philadelphia, which of course we all know has very significant playoff implications. <laughs> Lord, uh, for both teams, both teams are, I believe are six and seven. Um, so Rivera said that the NFL has not indicated if the game could be moved. And he speculated that the, Omicron variant could be responsible for the outbreak. But we don't know. That's what we're assuming. Um, it was also said that the Washington football team, even though they had one of the lowest vaccination rates at the beginning of the season, um, once the season began, players started getting vaccinated, and it was up to about 90% of the team that was vaccinated. So why are we having such an outbreak for a team that has 90% of its players vaccinated? That, that is, a, is a very tough question. Uh, a lot of people who you know, were basically talking about the, the, the vaccines uh, helping to curb the spread, well, it's not really doing that with the football team. Um, Maybe it's lessening the symptoms, which is always a good thing. Uh, but, I mean, it's just, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, 18 players on Washington's COVID list. 18 players. I mean, you have, you dress, what, 53 guys out there, 53 men. So, I mean, that's, that's getting close to, what, 45%, somewhere around there of your football team that has been tested positive for COVID. So now we're wondering what's going to happen. Will this game get moved? Will, will this game get forfeited? Uh, there are some that have said that they can't move it, that they did that in 2020. They're not going to... Obviously, the NFL doesn't want to do that in 2021, uh, there could be means of uh, forfeiting. I don't think it's going to come to that. Um, so I think what's going to happen is the Washington football, football team is just going to hope that some of those guys can come back and play. Obviously, for the vaccinated guys, um, it's totally possible that they may be able to have a couple of negative tests and be ready for Sunday. Uh, there's There has been talk about the NFL changing their protocols and allowing vaccinated players to just have one negative test and maybe even a rapid test on game day just to make sure. I don't see why they couldn't do that. I mean, obviously, if you're vaccinated, shouldn't have a, a worry, right? So 
I am uh, I'm all for that. I hope that the NFL does change that because if they don't, or if they don't change it by this weekend, um, you're looking at a lot of players that are going to be out for the Washington football team. A lot of very key players. Uh, now on top of that, injuries that that this team has. Um, you know, we all know about Logan Thomas. He's out for the rest of the season. Could be out for most of next season as well. Uh, but then you have Terry McLaurin, who is likely going to be out because of a concussion. And now we have Cam Sims, who tested positive for COVID. Those are two very valuable wide receivers that we're not going to have. So what's going to happen? I mean, it, it is uh, it's not looking very good for the Washington football team. I will say that. It's not looking very good in de- indeed. And, um, you know, guys like uh, Kendall Fuller, we don't know if he was vaccinated or not. Um, some feel that since he was wearing a mask uh, during interviews, that that could be a sign that he was not. He has not disclosed his vaccination status. Um, so not having... Kendall Fuller is a big thing for us as well. Uh, we may not have J.D. McKissick because he's still recovering from a concussion. Curtis Samuel has a hamstring. Um, I do expect for us to have Cole Holcomb and Brandon Sheriff. Taylor Heineke will definitely play, even though he got beat up. Um, we, we quite frankly don't have any other quarterbacks. Um, we do have Kyle Shermer, who will back up. Uh, Taylor Heineke, um, and we have, uh, cannot pronounce his last name, so I'll, I'll probably murder it, but um, uh, Tamua will be the third string quarterback. But yeah, I mean, you're just looking at warm bodies just to have enough players to play on Sunday. Now, there is a chance that, who knows, I have been hearing news about. Uh, Jalen Hurts having a high ankle spring. Could he be out? If he is, that's going to give Washington a little bit more of a chance. Um, but who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? I'll, the only thing I know is don't be expecting a very well-played game. I think it's going to be a very sloppy game. I think it's going to be a game that you pretty much would see if you were going to sit down and watch a preseason game. Because... This is really what it's going to wind up looking like. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully I will be back home in time on Sunday to watch most of this game. Um, I will be out of town, so it may not be a bad thing if I don't get home in time to watch it, but um, I will definitely report on it um, afterwards. So that, that case, okay, folks, you have a good evening. I will talk to you in the next one.